Ben Cartwright is seriously wounded as he and Hoss seek help in fighting the vengeful Morgan brothers, only to be confronted with cowardice later at 7.30pm on Bonanza. But first, sit back and relax with the Thames men. How are you, George? I'm very well, thank you. How are you, Alex? I'm good. I'm up in Colorado, people, and I'm Alex the Thamesman. I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles. Where, where's the snow line got to? Is it getting closer? Well, today, uh, you know, here am I working away, whole family skiing. No, really already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, that's oh, what nice. they did all day. And it was, uh, it's, you can, when I was driving, you could see it on the top of the mountains. It's coming down, down, down. We've had uh, snow uh, here already. There's snow outside at the moment. Is the snow at your house? Yeah, just a little bit, but it melts. And then on the, on the, on, in the shadows, it stays. But the, ki- oh, wow. the, the, uh, the kids are skiing every single day because they're off now for a week, right? Because they've got this break coming skiing. up. Um, so they're just skiing every single day, all day. So have you got the whole family passes for your local mountain? Or yeah, something? Is that how and, it works? and the kids work there as well. And they, and they oh, work on Sunday so that everything's half price. All the food, um, all the uh, equipment, and they get a ski pass for the year. That's bloody brilliant. And they get paid. And, <laughs> and I see it is that someone pays them to get them out of my house. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be sending my boy over there Absolutely. if I could. You know, so look after him for a couple of months. Ladies and gentlemen, come skiing with a Thamesman. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> when are you going to come up? I don't know. We'll have to work that out because then we can make some videos. We could do a live stream. We could do all sorts of stuff, couldn't we? Absolutely. You know? But before we get there, we've got a week coming up, haven't we? We've got a special week coming up. And we're going to use this track. Chris has dropped Chris, a curator, uh, the man who controls the strings to the monkeys. Um, has put this track in because we, uh, we've got a special week, Curator Week, coming up that's been uh, created by Brian Parser, right? One of our subscribers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, Brian's... Uh, so this is going to be... Dylan Covered is going to be the week. Uh, and, and so it's going to be songs, Dylan songs as performed by others. I think that's a really s- a smart Curator Week. So that, 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 uh, that was probably two weeks out, folks, but we're yeah. using this track to kind of promote it. I think that's a great idea because Dylan... He writes unbelievable songs, but Jesus Christ, he's got a whingy little voice. <laughs> Not everyone. Some of his tracks he's got. Some of his early stuff I really like. Yeah. But anyway, that's another story. I know. But so we've got a big pile of notes relating to this. So Brian has has gone above and beyond on this. So sh- should I read them? Do you want I to read them? I think so. I think with that many words, there's only trouble ahead okay. of me. <laughs> okay i'll give them a go i can't right. promise you right. so so thank thank you uh chris thank you brian and uh uh yeah so so th- we're going to start with a chrissy hind track oh no a bob dylan track but by chrissy hind uh, i shall be released and so it says a uh, bob dylan song i shall be released is another of his quotes basement tapes that he wrote in 1967 uh dylan did not release it until 71 when his greatest hits volume 2 album came out but many covers of the song have been recorded by other artists and released as early as the spring of 68. Arguably, the most famous cover version is one of the earliest. It was included on the band's debut album, Music From Big Pink, which was released in July 68. It continues to be covered and to be included in concert performances to this day by artists at all levels of musical fame. In 1992, probably a clever marketing executive at Columbia Records noticed that the 30th anniversary of the release of Bob Dylan's debut album was approaching. That executive had the even more uh, clever idea to hold a concert at Madison Square Garden in New York City, celebrating Dylan's music career by inviting other artists on the label to perform covers of Bob Dylan's song at this concert. So Columbia Records could record all these great artists performing great covers of Bob Dylan and sell a lot of records and CDs too. The performance was held on October 16th, 92. The house band included the surviving members of Booker T and the MGs, Booker T, Jones on organ, Steve Cropper on guitar, yes. and Donald Duck Dunn on yes. bass. They were the they were the Blues Brothers band, weren't they? Anyway, no, well, uh, before the blue, with... before the Blues Brothers band, you know, they were that Stax um, house band. Yeah. And uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
But anyway, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, uh, along with Anton Fig uh, and uh, Jim Keltner on drums, and Saturday Night's Live band leader, Saturday Night Live's band leader G. Smith on guitar. Paul Schaefer was also playing piano and keyboards, and Cheryl Crow was one of the handful of backup singers. Chrissy Hind, without any pretenders, selected "I Shall Be Released" for her turn. It's a terrific performance. Excellent. I'm 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 really excited to see Cropper and uh, Duck Dunn because uh, yeah. I mean in the terms of you know stacks and everything and Otis Redding and all that and, uh, I mean they were there you know but yeah this yeah, is going to be really good I've seen clips of this concept but I've never seen the entire any song all the way through and it's no. uh, yeah so this is going to be really 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 cool excellent all right. Well, so um, it, just remember, like and subscribe so you'll get the notification when the full uh, Dylan Covered Week Dylan Covered Week comes up. And uh, let's see what this is all about, shall we? Yes. Count me in, big boy. Are you ready, sir? Three, two, one, go. <laughs>
Oh, oh my <sighs> God. That was sublime. It was. She's amazing, isn't she? That whole deal was amazing. I was sitting there and I'm just thinking there's Donald Duck Dunn, there's Cropper, Steve Cropper on the guitar, then she is singing superbly, amazing band behind them, and they are covering Dylan. I mean, uh, talk about it. if that was served on a in a menu on a restaurant, it was the most sublime ingredients you could have to make a meal. Yeah, it could, like worthy of a Michelin star or something, isn't it? You know, it's uh, it, it'd get a good Yelp review that one. You know, but the it's, pace uh, of it, the pace of yeah. it was just so relaxed, and that the back the back line was so tight, tighter than a nun's chaff, and everyone was relaxed, and they were not rushing, and they everyone gave each other time, and it was it was just beautiful. It was so nice, I, I you know, and I I, I forget how talented Chrissy Hind is, mm. you know, and how distinctive her voice is. Mm -hmm. You know, when you hear it, you know that's Chrissy Hind. you know, yeah. it, it, you know, and I, I'm surpri surprised we haven't done any pretenders because I think I'd kind of like to learn a bit more about what, what they've been up to and what they what their their archive is because I think that would be amazing, you know. I so. agree with you. I totally agree with you. And on, on a lot of these all-star, you know, performances, like, you know, award ceremonies we've seen, it's, yeah. it's, it's normally just Oh, let's just put a load of names together, whatever. Yeah. And it's normally, you know, they all compete against each other and it turns into a bit of a wank fest. But that yeah. was just all about the music. Everyone gave each other space and time. That's what I was thinking, yeah, because I was worried when it said it was a sort of put together a special 30th year tribute with all these different people, that it might end up being a bit one of those sort of like, you know, everyone trying to be the lead guitarist and everyone trying to be the sort of front person and it's sort of stepping on each other it was it, she 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 just was there and she carried it and and the band would like you said were just held back it was that that sort of that sort of pace where it's mm. just like uh, you yeah you know it's just really uh you know i love that the the way it makes you feel you know you just yeah. like you go to a sort of comfortable space you know and uh, let's not forget also Let's not forget the songwriter, Bob Dylan. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, I mean, like, uh, we live in a day and age where Bob Dylan is still, you know, around and recording or whatever, and the, the, you, you kind of you go on with your normal day and go grocery shopping and do this and do that, and yet Bob Dylan is still with us. The man's catalogue of music is just... He's a savant. That's just one of his songs. Yeah, you know? no, absolute genius. And, uh, you know, like I, th you know, one of the videos we did um, uh, was uh, Ramblin' Jack. Do you remember I was talking about Ramblin' Jack Elliot? Yes. Who I went to see live in Austin. And... Ramblin' Jack Elliot was at Bob Dylan's first album or second album recording. He was there in the studio with Dylan. Yeah, no, Rob, Ramblin' Jack Elliot um, introduced Dylan to Woody Guthrie because Ramblin' Jack Elliot was, was hanging with Woody Guthrie and he introduced Dylan to him. Um, and I think there's some sort of like later bad blood because Dylan sort of didn't want to follow up with him or something. But anyway, but um, yeah, so yeah, if you if you're interested in that, go and see Rambling uh, the video we did on Rambling Jack Elliot. And um, I actually went and saw him a couple of weeks ago play again, and he's still you know 92 and he's still playing you know and just brilliant pure Americana. But anyway, that's another story. He was in the studio when they recorded um, like a Rolling Stone. Oh, uh, really. Uh, yeah, 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 and uh, and I was listening to some. Strangely enough, I was listening to a podcast on on I think telling the second album, and it mentioned that he was there in the studio, just hanging out. He didn't play; he was just hanging out. And I and I know that you got a connection through to him, and it's just like, oh yeah, that that cat, you know. He was apparently one of the stories is that he went over to London, and he was like playing skiffle and sort of hanging in with the skiffle players, and he was sort of like you know, itinerant musician traveling around London. And, and when I sat down and chatted to him, he was talking about working on a Thames sailing barge, which is something I did as a, as a sort of tourist, as a summer job once. But anyway, and uh, he, the, one of the stories is that he was the person who inspired Mick Jagger to pick up a guitar because he was like busking at a station on a guitar and uh, Mick Jagger saw him. And that's what inspired Mick Jagger to pick up a guitar all those years ago. So, Jack! So yeah. they, <laughs> anyway, I don't know how true that is, but that was. Anyway. Oh, thank you very much, Brian, for that track. That was a real treat. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got a whole week. We got five days, uh, six days actually, of 
other artists doing Dylan's track. And I'm sure, knowing um, our subscriber who put it together, they're going to be all of that quality. So as my friend said, like to subscribe. Um, and you'll get notification when the week comes live in a couple of weeks. And uh, I can't wait for it. Yeah, and, and, and uh, I don't think we need to score it, because last time we did a promo video, um, the scoring all went to pot, didn't it? So you know, We can't score it, because no. who are you scoring? Are you scoring the back, <laughs> end, uh, the back, the back line with Cropper and Dunn, which would be a 9? Yeah. Or are you going to score in Chrissy Hine, which, which she came in with at an 8.7? Or are you actually doing Dylan? Um, yeah, OK. All right. <laughs> Too complicated for our poor little brains, I would suggest. So, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you on the flip side, my friend. See you on the flip side. Ciao. Bye. Bye.